Welcome to this Magnus Billing video tutorial. We will be discussing how to configure and use the Call Shop module. The process is simple. The admin side of things consists of three steps. The first step is to activate the permissions for the owner of the Call Shop. If you do not know how to do this, then we suggest that you view the group administration video. We will go to configurations and group permissions. In this case, we already have a call shop group created. So we will need to activate the call shop menu and give it read, write, update, and delete permissions. The submenu cabins, which needs to be read and update permissions. The calls made menu needs read permission. And the call shop tariff menu, which needs read, write, update, and delete permissions. Finally, the call shop per day menu, which needs read access. So we'll go ahead and make all of these changes now. Once all of the permissions are correct, you would save the changes. We have already done this, so we're not going to save anything. Next, we will make a user. In this case, we made the demo user. Assign this user to the new group we just made, which will give it adequate permissions. In the additional menu, change the call shop option to yes. This will copy the active plans tariff list to the call shop list. Only activate this if you really need the call shop function for the user. Otherwise, it will generate new tariff lists, which will create an increased load on the server. And if it's not needed, this would not be ideal. So once you've made these changes, go ahead and click save. The last step of the three steps is to create VoIP accounts for the cabins for this user. So we will go into VoIP accounts. Here we will create a new VoIP account. We will select the user from the user dropdown. We will give this a name, for example, demo1. Set a password and click save. We will also make another user, which will be for the second cabin. In this case, it will be demo2. We'll give it a password and we'll click save. And finally, we'll add a third user. We'll repeat the same steps. So this will be demo3 and we'll give it a password. So now we have three VoIP accounts created. These will be cabins one, two, and three for this call shop. So let's log in with the call shop user that we made. That will be demo, the main user. We can now see that this user, because of the permissions, has the call shop menu. We can go to call shop and cabins. And we can see that we have demo one, two, and three, which are the three VoIP accounts we created. These are the three cabins for this call shop. We can go to the VoIP accounts menu, and then we can change the name of the caller ID for the three demo users. We can set demo to cabin, demo2 to cabin2, and demo3 to cabin3. We will then close and reopen the call shop cabins menu for the changes to appear. We can now see that instead of demo 1, 2, and 3, we have cabin 1, 2, and 3.
So as you can see here, by clicking each cabinet and clicking black, we can black the cabins. Let's modify the call shop tariffs. Since these tariffs are imported from the original plan, we would modify these so that the call shop would have earnings. Since these prices would be exactly the same as the ones that were imported, there would be no earnings. So we can use the batch update button to increase all the prices by 50%. So let's click batch update, let's click the percent, and then let's put the 50%. We will then click save. We can now see that all the tariffs have been increased by 50%. This would be the earnings for the call shop. So let's do a small test. Let's go to cabin 2 and enable it. Then we will log into a soft phone with this account and make some test calls. So let's go ahead and enter a test number. We can see that the call is ringing and we can see that in real time in Magnus Billing, the status of the cabin 2 changes from ready to calling. We can see the number and the call duration as well. Now if we click on cabin 2, we can see on the right side there's a list of the calls that were made. We can see the number called, the destination, the total sale price, the duration of the call, and the date and time. If the client was finished using this, we would select cabin 2 and then click print. This will generate a bill. When the client is finished with the cabin, we can select it and then block it. This will clear all the CDRs and reset the cabin for the next user. We can also go to call shop calls made and get a full list of all the calls made with details such as the cabin, number, destination, if it was paid the buy and sell pricing, their earnings percentage, and the duration. Finally, this is a call shop per day menu, which gives us a daily summary of everything that was done. We can filter the call shop per day by prefix and cabin. That is going to conclude this Magnus Billing video tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. This video was sponsored by Synapse Global, www.synapseglobal.com.